Hello. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming back to my channel today. Or thank you for coming for the first time if you're new here. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen and I'm about to do a little bit of fall baking. And normally for these baking videos, I do a voiceover, but a lot of you have requested that I do it in real time, which is more fun for me, but a lot of times there can be some background noise with the baking, and this evening there happens to be some rain going on, some quite intense rain, so I hope that's not too loud. If you can hear it, I hope it's at least somewhat relaxing, but... So just by virtue of being here, I think we'll have a few more sounds, but we'll get through it. Okay, so um, I wanted to do some fall baking and I was looking for a good fall recipe and these are going to be molasses crinkle cookies, which will be really, really yummy and they're easy to make. So I'll get started right here. First, I've got my bowl. And the recipe calls for half a cup of butter. So I've got my block, my block of butter. And I use, I use salted butter. A lot of recipes. I'm gonna put my hair up too so that it doesn't fall into my into my batter. Okay, so um yeah, a lot of recipes will tell you to use unsalted butter and I'm sure there's a reason for it but I just prefer salted butter because I prefer these to be salty so um, I use salted butter and I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for a few seconds so that it's easier to stir around Probably 30 seconds. And I grabbed my spoon that we'll be using. And that's just my cats running around playing. <laughs> few more seconds because I want it to be nice and soft. Just wrapping the butter back up. mostly melted butter. All right, next we're gonna put one cup of brown sugar. And I'm gonna do this just because of the size container. I'm gonna do it in two times half a cup. And I believe it should be packed down like so. One half a cup and equals one cup. Okay. Um, and then to, to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of molasses. And a good tip is to not keep your molasses in the fridge so that it is fairly runny for your recipes. <laughs> and I'll get a little. There, I just got 
a little spatula to clean it out with. And I'll just put the lid back on the molasses and put the lid back on my brown sugar. And I'll just I'll just give this a stir. Give that a stir again. Incorporate the egg into the rest of the batter. And I gave it a stir before I put the egg in just because I feel like with the warm uh, butter that I melted, you know, I just don't want it to make scrambled eggs out of my egg. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put two cups of flour, a container of flour, and I'm going in with my one cup. One, and two. I just keep rinsing off my fingers and I get different things on them. Okay, and to that I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Mm. And two teaspoons of baking soda. And I'll add about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a teaspoon of ground ginger. Sometimes it can be really hard to get shake out of the container because it's kind of moist. But that will do it, okay? And then I'm just going to mix all that together. Mm. The ginger and the cinnamon smells so much like fall. This was, I think, the perfect recipe. And I have just been starting to get into green tea. So these would be really good cookies to eat while drinking a nice warm glass of green tea and with honey is how I've been having it. With a little bit of honey. Okay, so I'm just stirring up all the ingredients. Okay. There. Yeah. 
there. So now once everything's incorporated, I just take I make I just take my hands and make a little ball of dough. Um, whatever size cookie you think you're gonna want. I'm making mine like this. And then I'm just rolling it in this little bowl of sugar. Mm. <laughs> okay, and then I'll just plop it on my cookie sheet. Taking another. Mmm, it's so good. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of, the smell. Mmm, it smells like a lot of pumpkin recipes because it's got ginger and cinnamon. And the molasses makes it really fall as well. So I'm just making a little ball. Making balls, rolling them in the sugar, and repeat, repeat. Okay. So here they are. And I'm going to put them in the oven now and bake them for about 10 minutes. I'll see you when they're done. Okay. I think they're just about done, so let's check them out. Mm -hmm. mm. They look really, really good. Okay, let me um, take one off and show you what they look like. Here they are. Mm, they're so yummy looking and they smell amazing. Mm, I cannot wait to eat them. So I'm just going to put them on a cooling rack and I'm going to enjoy them right away. It said to chill the dough for an hour, but I wanted to eat them right away so I didn't and they turn out totally fine. It's just easier to roll them if the dough is cold, but I did it perfectly fine. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mm. If you try these, let me know. You won't regret it. Hope you have a great week. And I'll talk to you really, really soon.